Law enforcement officers are everywhere. I mean, it was city, state, county, federal. They were all coming. More air patrol than you would ever, you know, see. They were coming from everywhere. They were coming from everywhere. Car pulled into a shell station on State Route 50, just off I-75, and took a 27-year-old clerk, Stephanie Kramer, as a hostage. Police presence grew around the shell convenience store. At one point, more than 200 state and local authorities were at the scene. What happened today? What's brought you to this situation? Uh, I somehow locked a rifle that I was holding for a friend overnight. It was only there overnight. I took the gun from him. I said, no, you're not supposed to be playing with these. I turned around to put it up. I guess the butt stock hit the side of the wall and went off. Discharged around, going through my son's face. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I panicked. I flipped down. I knew he was still alive. Joseph, could you could you let that lady out? Um, not at this time. Not until I hear from my wife. Joseph, is there what what is preventing you from putting down that weapon and just walking out? I don't have the weapon. The weapon's laying right here beside me. I haven't had the weapon in my hand for over 15, 20 minutes now. I'm not in no way threatening this lady. She's pretty calm. I mean, she's visibly upset, but she knows she's going to live. She will live. Joey Bennett's dead. Detective Childers is dead. Detective Bell is dead. Florida Highway Trooper Crooks is dead. What does he have to lose? Why don't you just open that door and walk out very slowly? Well, there's knife just... shooters, and, and they're all laying under their cars and all. Now the place is surrounded. There's cops everywhere. I'm not going out there. They done shot at me all day. They've been shooting at me for the last 30 miles. You know, I don't want to do try in the electric chair. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to have to eat the food. I don't want to have to live with people. I just, I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to go. The best advice I can give you would be to let that, that lady who has nothing to do with any of this out of that store and, uh, you know, and to, and to follow her yourself. Do me a favor. Uh, my real name isn't Joseph Lee Bennett. What's your real name? Hank Earl Carr. How do you spell that? C-A-R-R, H-A-N-K. Can we call your wife, Hank? I'm trying to get them to, to get a hold of her so I can talk to her now. That's why I'm fixing to get off the phone in case she calls. Okay, Hank. Uh, try to talk me out of this. Hank, please. She's the only one that can. Okay, well, uh, I know I'll... you're trying. I appreciate that. Hank, please, you can end this incident peacefully. Just put the gun down, 
Let the lady go. She hasn't done you any harm. She's only serving a purpose. She just keep me alive long enough so I can see my wife. Okay, this situation should end peacefully, Hank. Please. Please. Okay? Y'all got the story? I think we do. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Bye. Carr talked to Bowen over the phone. It was a goodbye call to the woman he called his wife. You know, in that last conversation with him, you know, all I could think of, you know, was I didn't want that woman hurt, you know? And they had told me that she was pregnant, and I was like, you know, you got to let this woman go. You can't, there's, you can't take no more lives. This is it. Finally, he did, he had listened to me, and he had let her go. He said he loved me, and uh, I think he had dedicated a song to my daughter. I'm not sure what it was, but, uh, that he never cheated on me, that's what he said. I heard some glass break in the background, and he said, they're coming in. I said, no, they're not. He said, yes, they are. And uh, the next thing I know, one of the officers or detectives grabbed the phone out of my hand, and uh, I heard a great big boom. When the smoke cleared, SWAT teams found Carr dead of self-inflicted wounds. By the end of the day on May 19th, 1998, five people were dead including little Joey, three law enforcement officers, and fugitive Hank Carr, who had died by his own hand. Seemingly, there was no one left alive to blame for the carnage.